Hi, my name is Autumn James, and this is the book I decided to do my book review on. It's called Teaching What Really Happened, How to Get How to Avoid the Tyranny of Textbooks and Get Students as Excited About Reading History by James W. Owen. This is a really good book. Um, the author goes through telling you about how you can not rely so much on the textbook and start using other sources. And just doing other things to make history more interesting and more fun for students. Um, but he explains why, which is very important because, well, a lot of teachers will be like, why, why can I not use a, a, a textbook? That's what they're meant for. But uh, he explains that, you know, textbooks seem to, especially uh, depending on where they were published, when they were published, and who published them, they could have biases. They can omit stuff that could you might feel is important. Um, and they're just filled with a lot of content that could be pretty irrelevant. Um, like you don't need to, like he explains that you don't need to know the height and weight of George Washington. <laughs> you know, but um, so he, he explains that like the textbook can still be useful in the classroom. But it shouldn't be the only thing you use. Like, um, I mean, you can use websites, articles, uh, primary sources are very big in the field of history. So take advantage of that. Use it. Um, but he also talks about not just the textbooks. He talks about student achievement and stuff through uh, teacher expectations and standardized testing. Um, and he frowns upon standardized testing for it seems at least when you read it um but also he goes on he kind of switches gears about halfway through the book and talks about some pretty big topics in history and how to teach them like uh, people coming to america for the very first time and i'm not talking about columbus or anything but more of um the first people before native americans because that is a very controversial and hot topic to say. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'd like to go into what I liked about this book. Uh, I loved that he talks about an experience he had and how he created his own textbook because of those biases and false truths in the textbook that students were learning in the state of Mississippi. So it kind of gives you that feel like, okay, well, this guy's got the authority to be writing about this. And so you kind of trust more of what he says after he, you read that. Um, I also like that he talks a lot about historiography. He, you know, really explains that history is not just memorizing, that it's critically thinking and analyzing what you read and, you know, thinking like, well, this person said this. But that person said that. But is there a meeting, a middle ground? You know, kind of, you know, stuff like that. Um, but just critically thinking about text. Um, I there's a couple of things I don't like in this book. Um, he references one of his other books he's written called Lies My Teacher Told Me, which I do believe is a bestseller, and that's great. And it's a book I want to read. But he references it way too much in the another textbook or another book that I feel like they should be separate. Um, I don't like the metaphor he uses. He talks about trees and twigs. <laughs> it, it, you'll see it in like the first like two chapters of the book. It um, kind of takes away from the content that he's trying to teach you. Um, it's just something that just felt unnecessary. Oh, and there's one other thing that I really loved about this book, and that is the that he talks about how we don't have enough time to teach history in a year, especially world history, but also U.S. history, and how to go about doing that. He talks about a 30-50 rule and how you pick 30 to 50 topics to teach uh, based on what you feel is important, what you think your students will find interesting or relevant, and, of course, by state standards and all that. So I love that he brought that into a lot because that's something that I know a lot of teachers worry about. Um, but that's all.
all I really have to say about the book.